Oh, oh. Nah. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> So I'm back out in the wilderness today, um, something I haven't done for a little while now. Uh, I've just been hitting trail riding um, in the woods for quite a while. So um, I'm back out, I've managed to get back out into the Torridon area, uh, somewhere I found myself wanting to come back to all the time just because it's so like dramatic and the backdrop is stunning. So I'm back out in the Ibis today, my acoustic bike. Uh, I haven't actually rode it for a little while now, so I felt like I had to get back out in it. Uh, so we're about halfway up the Coolags climb already and uh, we're going to get to the top of this and then we're going to keep coming back down the Achna Shellac descent which I'm really looking forward to. It's been a while since I've hit it and it's actually one of my favourite descents that I've ever done. So uh, let's crack on and uh, get to the top. So here we are, this is uh, as far as I got last time I came up this path um, because I ended up going up that way and then up to the Bialik there, uh, the, where the summit path starts for going to the top of that Monroe, uh, which I did a couple months ago. Obviously last time I did, when I actually went, managed to get to the top of it, um, I came right from the Anat side and then went round the back of it and then up uh, that hellish Monroe. I would not advise taking your bike up there, but the views were decent at the top. So if you're a walker, then it's well worth doing, but just don't bother taking your bike. This path down here, um, did that one last year and back when I still had the Ockham. It was okay, uh, a bit loose, um, maybe I would have enjoyed it a little bit more on a bike like this, an enduro bike, but the short uh, trail bike was just a bit uh, jittery on it, <laughs> a bit skittish. But today we're carrying on up this way. quite the top yet but just have to come up here for a wee look at all this rock slab there's heaps of it the top's around there somewhere so I'm just gonna take a we run down this rock slab here let's get on with it Woo. <laughs> Right up to the top. There we go. That is the the top now. It's been a, a fair detour compared to what I would normally do to do the Achnashelt descent, but oh, we got there. I ended up thinking I was going to come round that corner down there and that would be the top, but then it threw this at me, which is a bit of a struggle, but we got it done. Time to have a few sugary sweeties, have a wee rest, and then we'll hit the downhill, which is back this way. Right, as nice as that view is, uh, kind of pushing it for time a wee bit. Left it a bit late, as per normal. Really need to start doing these a bit earlier. Uh, and I've still got to cycle along the road back to the van, so let's go. Ach, na shellac descent. It's been a while. really trying not to let the front wheel get away from me at any one point. You've said and done and this sort of stuff. Oh shit. Wow. Oh my god. Oh, that was just a bit too loose there. Whew. 
Oh, moldy berm. <laughs> oh, in a dead end. <laughs> That's maybe been made for bikers, is it? This is better. Not so loose. Still a little bit loose, but not as bad as it was at the top. Oh, too soon. <sighs> right along the sort of ridge there. Oh my god. Just come into like sandy patches. Oh my fucking god. That is brutally, brutally loose. Oh, <laughs> there is no grip on that. <laughs> Approaching the actual oh, Acme Shell descent, the lower section of it. Which is what I've come here to do. Yeah, it's just over at that rocks in the distance, that's where it starts. <laughs> yeah. Oh, which way? I think we'll go this way. Yo! <laughs> this is sick. There we go, go watch yourself. Go this way just to be safe. Yeah. Yeah, so this is a really popular one to do in Torridon. Quite a lot of people know about it and like it. Um, some people say this is the best part of the classic or lollipop Torridon loop. Uh, but some people say the Anat one's better, so I think I like this one a little bit more. A bit more challenging. This kind of stuff. Whoa, inside line. Oh, rim dinger. Inside line again. Whoa. Oh shit! You marbles. I was just about to say there. And then you near got caught out. A belt. Oh. I was lucky. A few marbles on the rock slabs. Oh, should have went inside there. So much rock slab. Awesome. We go all right. Yep. concentration for this one. You don't want to take your eye off the ball at any point. 
or you'll regret it. Here we go. Oh, there's the trials rider in me. <laughs> Wow, oh, that was all over the place. Still got a bit of light left, so you'd be able to see this on the GoPro. Mid-stabilisation might be a bit jittery, but nothing I can do about it. Could have came earlier right enough. just as I put the gears up to. <laughs> oh, I think that's pretty much the end. Right, so there you go, there's another ride completed. Um, that was Kulags over to Achnashelach. If you're just wanting to do the Achnashelach descent, I wouldn't recommend doing it that way. Um, but it was quite good for the views, so it's a lot of effort though, so up to yourselves. Uh, I also got to cycle back along the road over the van, so Better get a shift on before it gets dark completely. So I hope you enjoy that one and uh, see you wherever I'm next. Cheers.